Alrighty, g'day guys and welcome to another video. This one is super exciting because as you can see behind me, there's a big ferry. I'm off to Tasmania and Fizz is gonna be joining. <laughs> How you feeling? Excited. We're off to Tassie for a month. Fizz is gonna be working there, she's a nurse. And I'm yeah. gonna be traveling around, doing some solo stuff and then some weekend adventures together as well. So we're about to go check in, jump on board the ferry, so we'll show you that process and see how we go. Yay. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, well, we've just gotten to the port. We're in the lineup, ready to uh, check in and board the Spirit. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the port is here in Melbourne, Port Melbourne. Um, and it's about, I think it's between nine and 11 hours um, long, the journey to Devonport. It can be pretty rough but we're hoping for the best. Um, and we have booked a room, a cabin on the boat, which was a last minute decision last night because I don't know, we've had about, what, 10 hours sleep in two days, like something like that. Um, so yeah, we booked a cabin and we'll show you when we get on there. All right, we've just gone to the checking station. Quarantine. Had to get rid of our... Uh... Oh, okay, sorry. All right, we are just driving onto the boat, almost. Had to go through the little quarantine station because you can't take fruit or veg. I just ate so a whole just nectarine. Smacked a couple of nectarines back. Had to ditch, not too much, but it's never fun mm. throwing food out for nothing. But, smooth sailing so far. So far. <laughs> We're about to enter the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh no. Hey MGV, welcome to our crib. Welcome. Okay. We got a bed each. <laughs> Couple of single beds. Oh gee, it's cozy. Cabin. Life. Right, there we go. Got a window room. Oh wow. <laughs> Nice. This is home for the next eight, nine, ten hours. Twelve. Don't know. Who knows? So these cabins, what was it, hundred and twenty dollars? Twenty. Yeah. Hundred and twenty bucks, which is pretty good. At least we can chill for the day. What do you reckon? Good eh. We are officially on the move. Well, we're pumped. So pumped. Yeah. What a morning. It's so calm. We are in the bay, and I think it takes two and a half, four hours to get out into the open water, but if it stayed like this, it'd be all right. Okay. Mention food or beverages. Clean your ass, you please sanitize your hands regularly and practice good hygiene. While we're providing for all passengers, we do ask young passengers not to use the lifts unnecessarily. And please do not run at any time as the ship's movement of the wet outside decks can be hazardous. Don't tackle with firefighting life-saving equipment. This is a federal offence and would attract a substantial fine. Good. 
Alrighty, well, we are officially one hour away from Devonport in Tassie. How are you feeling? Excited. Excited. We're so both excited. Pumped. We've just got a beer, enjoying a nice burpee. We probably should be drinking a Bogue since we're going to Tasmania, but we'll get that next. That'll be next. <laughs> um, but yeah, we thought we'd take this quick little chance to do a little intro, um, or I guess talk about how this adventure's come about and everything else. So basically, we've spent the last six or seven months um, of last, well, the last six or seven months traveling um, in Western Australia. Viz is a travel nurse, so she kind of picks up short-term contracts wherever she wants. Wherever I want. Um, so worked from Broome all the way down to Albany, and then we spent Christmas and New Year's in Margaret River yep. before making our way back to SA. Spent the last three weeks just chilling out in Adelaide. Meeting friends, Catch family. Up with friends and family, being good. Um, and her next contract is in Launceston in Tasmania. So we thought we'd make a little adventure out of it. Well, not a little one, a big one. It's a big one. We're going to be there for a, a month. One. We're going to explore the whole lot. This is going to be working a little bit, but we're going to be making the most of the off days and the weekends. The weekends, yeah. Monday to Friday work, Saturday to Sunday play. Play time. <laughs> so yeah, we're pumped. We're super excited. Neither of us have been there before. Um, yeah, we're pumped. So we'll see what we can get up to. But yeah, cheers. Time to head back to the car. Absolutely perfect conditions all day. Little section where we're a bit rocky, not rocky, a bit bumpy. We were a bit rocky. We were a bit rocky. <laughs> but other than that, like, what's that? Our pub over there. Is that where we're going to? We're going to go right there for dinner, a beer, and to watch our footy team play Port Adelaide. Sam. Hey doll. Hey doll. <laughs> Ready to roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> Alright, we're in the car. We're ready to roll. I think they're working left to right, so we've got one more roll of cars to go here and then we'll be out, but just thought we'd show you. This is how obsessed with footy we are. Inside 450 has got real improvement. Six marks inside 450. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. So pumped. What a time of the day to come in on that. That sky. Oh my god. Alright, so. we've just finished up at the pub. <laughs> it's Yep, that's the pub. Yep. <laughs> that's the pub. It's it's 1030. We're in Devonport. We don't know anything. We've never been here before. We've just gone to Wiki Camps and we've found the campsite, which is just a free camp. Not it's far just out like of an town. oval. It's like 20 minutes away, so <sighs> we're gonna go there, pop the tent, go to sleep. So I don't know. We're winging it, but we're having fun. We had the best night ever, even though Port lost. Port got absolutely hammered. They got flogged. <laughs> they brought my pizza out wrong. <laughs> but we had fun. But yeah, let's go find camp and we'll probably see you in the morning. See you in the morning. <laughs> Peace! <laughs> Alrighty, good morning from Tassie. Good morning. First night here. Uh, we ended up just pulling into a little free camp. Only, what, 20 minutes out of Devonport last mm -hmm. night. It's literally just a uh, recreation ground. There's a footy oval here. And a bunch of campers just pulled up. It is quite nice because there's a little river over here. But yeah, just nothing nothing fancy. Um, but uh, we didn't pull in until like 10.30 last night, so it was good. Mm -hmm. um, today, what are we doing? This morning? 
Coffee. Coffee first. Coffee, coffee yeah. brekkie, and then we're probably gonna just start making our way to Launceston, pick up Viz's keys to a house. My keys. Yeah. Get organized, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. But let's make coffee. <laughs> Hey, coffee. Coffee is happening. I built this little little shelf the other day before we left. Quite happy with it. So we'll keep the toaster and coffee machine. And then, it's as easy as that. What do you reckon? Maybe we'll have a quick little peek after we have a coffee. I reckon. Seems as though we're at the footy oven. Be yeah. rude not to. <laughs> There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Show us a kick, Viz. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have made it to Launceston, pretty cruisy drive, I think it was about an hour and a half. Um, just pulled up outside the hospital, Viz has run inside to get her keys uh, for her place. So we'll do that and then go check her place out, get her settled in and uh, see what happens after that. Alrighty, g'day guys, it's been a couple of days since uh, the last little update. Um, yeah, I've spent the last couple of nights in Launceston. Viz has been getting settled into her house and had a couple of days work now, which she's enjoying. So that's good. Uh, and today I've headed off um, out of Launceston on a little adventure. I've caught up with my mate Joseph, who is in his car, who you'll see later in the video. Um, he's a legend. We actually met back in Margaret River in, I don't know, November, December last year. So it's been cool to catch up with him and he's been here for a month already. So he knows a bunch of good spots and he's gonna take me to a couple of them. Um, but yeah, we're about an hour out of Launceston now and heading north. First stop is uh, a blue lake. I think it's actually just called Little Blue Lake, um, which is exactly that from, from what I've seen online. So I'll show you that. Uh, and then we're going to continue heading north towards the coast and spend a couple of nights camping, uh, yeah, on the beach up there. So I don't really know what to expect, but um, so far, just driving around these windy roads, the landscape, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. It's unreal. Loving it. Uh, so yeah, I'll bring you along for the next few days and we'll see what we can see what we can find, see what we get up to. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Well, we've made it to the Little Blue Lake, and wow, it's certainly blue. Check this out. That was the blue lake and as you saw from those drone clips etc it's definitely blue worth the stop um, loved it it's so peaceful and quiet there's not a breath of wind it's actually quite warm I'm surprised um, feels a bit muggy to be honest but yeah that's the first stop for the day now we're going to continue heading towards the coast uh, which I'm looking forward to looking forward to setting up camp having a beer and just chilling out so let's hit the road This spot is called Village Green. This way is 10. This site's available now. Oh, it's absolutely primo. This spot. You're seeing it right now. Oh my god. Nobody. Good boy. Oh yeah. Honestly, look at this. 
All right, we've made it. We're in. We've found the ultimate campsite. We're bloody pumped. Have a look at this. Oh, what do you reckon, mate? Not bad. 10 out of 10, dude. <laughs> Grass, sand, water. Sun. Sun. What's it done? How good. Let's get set up. well I'm all set up Joseph's just about set up he's got the same brand rooftop tent as mine a little bit of a different design but they're both so simple to set up which makes sites like this an absolute breeze but now it's 5 30 I think it would be rude to not crack open a couple of tins so let's grab a beer Keeping things local. <whistles> oh, all right, well, as you can see, the sun has just set behind me. I'll throw on some drone clips now. bloody magical um, honestly I don't think it gets much better than this this campsite right on the beachfront there's grass even I'm in Tassie I don't know it feels pretty surreal I'm just soaking it all up and enjoying the moment um, yeah but probably not gonna do much else tonight because I'm just gonna sit down have a real quick easy dinner uh, and then probably just have a beer or two maybe a sneaky wine with Joseph and that'll be it for tonight so hope you enjoyed today and I'll see you tomorrow Good morning guys, oh, I had such a good sleep last night, slept right through the night, woken up here to another cracking day, oh, but uh, yeah, time to make a coffee and get the day started. Alright, it's brekkie time and I'm just doing the classic Vegemite Avo toast. Alright, there you go, you know it. Well, I've just been chilling in the tent for the last little while, sorting through some content and yeah, just chilling out a bit. <sighs> Certainly not complaining. Have a look at these views. Tide here is crazy. It actually comes 
all the way up like this morning when we woke up it was right up to the rocks behind me just you know five meters from the car and now it has gone back out the beach is pretty nice Alrighty, well, it's about to hit five o'clock, which means it's definitely beer o'clock. Um, not been doing too much this afternoon, just sort of been hanging out at camp and catching up with Joseph and just taking it easy. So it's been nice. This spot is just, I don't know, it's a spot you could just sit at for hours and just do nothing, um, which is, yeah, been really good. Uh, tonight, not too much. We have just collected some firewood and we're going to have a fire. So looking forward to that. Um, we'll throw on some drone clips and footage of that when it happens a bit later, but for now just going to sit down, have a beer and chill out. Cheers. Right, well, it's time to get the fire going. well it is a new day today uh, last night just after sunset it did start raining a bit it was just constantly drizzling we did sit around the fire for a little bit but it was just non-stop and got a bit annoying so we ended up having an early night um, but uh, yeah just woken up to another cracking day thank God it did get really cold early this morning uh, it was quite fresh in the tent bit of a shock to the system but <coughs> all good uh, just having a hot lemon water to get me going for the day and we'll see what happens. Alrighty, well that's about where I'm going to wrap up this video. I've just pulled into a free camp only half an hour from Launceston so not much to show you here. But I hope you have enjoyed what I've included in this video so far. First few days in Tassie. I've only just kind of touched the surface of it, so get ready for more videos. Um, I'm pumped to explore the whole island. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'll be making my way back to Launceston and I'll be picking Visa up, which I'm super excited for. She's got Friday and Monday off, which means an extra long weekend, so we're making an adventure out of it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where we're heading, but I think we're going to head to the Bay of Fires and explore that part of the east coast which I'm pumped about the weather's meant to be nice so we'll keep it coastal for now I think um, yeah but if you made it this far thank you so much for watching um, super excited to share more uh, gonna kind of do a little Tassie series I reckon and pump out a few videos so get ready for that hit the like button leave me a nice comment if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one which I think is gonna be quite good so I would if I was you um, yeah, but if you've made it this far, thanks again for watching and uh, yeah, until the next adventure, cheers and get out there.